This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Today I'm going to show how to make an industrial rib at the end of a piece. Here's my sample. This part is regular stockinette stitch and here's the industrial rib. An industrial rib is simply a rib that is done with the knit and purl stitches only a half step apart. And this two by one industrial rib is extremely bouncy and stretchy and I think you'll find lots of uses for it. Once I'm at the place on the stockinette stitch where I want to add ribbing, I'm going to switch to the ribber arm and connect the ribber. I'm also going to bring the bottom bed up into place for knitting ribbing. And I'll thread with the yarn. Now, to do an industrial rib, what I'm going to do is have two knits and then a purl. The purl will be on the bottom bed. So let me zoom in close. So here are the knit stitches and the third stitch is going to be a purl. So I have two knits and then a purl. Now these are a half step apart. I am set on half pitch and by taking every other needle into work it works out that I have two stitches on the main bed, then one on the river, then two on the main bed, then one on the river, two on the main bed, one on the river, and so forth on across. Now the next step is to fill in these needles. I want my end needles up on the main bed. It's to fill them in so that there is a loop on the hook. Otherwise you will get a hole. Now you might find that hole desirable, but for this purpose I don't. So I'm just going to take a half step to the left to make it easier to grab the heel of the stitch and put it on the ribber needle. Let's get in really close and see that. Here I am grabbing the stitch from the row below and putting it on my tool and then I'm just going to pop it onto the ribber needle. This doesn't take much time at all. The only tricky thing about it is you do have to remember to put the needles back in half pitch as soon as you've got this little job done. I had taken it one step to the left, now I'll take it one step to the right so that we don't have any needle collisions. We won't have any needle collisions. You see the ribber needle is in between the main bed needles. Now I'm going to knit whatever number of rows of ribbing is desired. I like this to be quite a bit tighter than the stockinette stitches because after all it does have the extra needle and it needs plenty of weight. I'm putting a large weight underneath the knitting. Now I'm going to put in about 10 rows, come back and show you how to do the bind off. After doing 10 rows of ribbing I make the carriages much much looser and do a single row. I also loosen up the upper tension. Then I can cut this yarn and now I'm going to take the work off on waste yarn. I set my carriages for circular knitting and I'm going to knit back and forth but it'll knit in a circle. You see the main bed only and now the ribber only and I'll put about 16 rows of this circular knitting on before I remove the knitting from the machine. Now I'm just going to clip the yarn and drop the stitches right off, catching them with my hand underneath. what we have. We have the ribbing up to here and then we have circular knitting here at the top. What I need to do is find which end has the tail and the tail here is on my left and which end has the rightmost stitch 
that doesn't have the tail. So that's the stitch where I'm going to begin. And I'm just going to turn this in, find the stitch on the inside, and hook it with my latch tool. Now with this rolled down, and I'll work from left to right because I'm a lefty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second stitch through the first with my latch tool, then get the purl stitch, then a knit stitch, a knit stitch, go across and get the purl stitch, pull that one through, then back to this side and get the next knit stitch. So I'm just doing the loop through a loop cast off that I very often do when I am working with ribbing. I just have to remember to get two knits, and there's my two knits, then one purl. Then again, get two knits, and one purl. And I'm going to finish by pulling the last loop through the last stitch. Now I'm unraveling the waist yarn, and we'll see what we've got. If you need a ribbing that doesn't pull in much, this very often will do the job for you. If you want it to pull in more, you need to tighten the tension more and possibly even gather the stockinette stitches. But you do get a very bouncy ribbing. And here's what that bind off looks like. It's just like a hand knitter's knit, uh, knit the knit and purl the pearls type of bind off. So I hope you'll try industrial rib. It's a really springy rib and has a great many uses.